Good morning everyone, we're back on our way and by we, I mean me, to the Magic Kingdom. Uh, we do have lunch at homecoming today at Disney Springs, which I'm very excited about because I love fried chicken with all my heart, so I'm very excited. Uh, we had like a late night last night, so the fam was still sleeping. And then we have our Epcot late night being a deluxe resort today. So, trying to take it easy, but I was up. So I switched my park reservation to Magic, so that way I could park hop to Epcot later. And just going in, once again, probably just staying at like Main Street, gonna see if I can get my giant sugar cookie, and just people watch and chill for a little bit. All right, here for park opening, got my favorite seats to people watch. So I stopped at the confectionery, and they finally have my giant sugar cookies back. And I got the Halloween one. I'm trying to get it out. Love it. And there go the Dapper Dance. back to the room it is about 10 10 so got a little bit of time in the park just literally stayed on Main Street filmed some TikToks follow me Caitlin underscore adventures for more behind the scenes and funny TikToks and just Disney TikToks uh, and I think we were gonna leave the resort by 11 to head over to Disney Springs and when you're leaving the park this early, you get a monorail to yourself. I have made it to Disney Springs. I went back to the resort just to jump on the bus and I was the only one on the bus and we didn't even stop at the other resort which like this would be the one place I would think they would do that because I was legit the only person on the bus but just me but it's very quiet and relaxing it's pretty I guess early for Disney Springs it's 10:50, but we have 12:20 reservations at homecoming I'm so excited uh, family I think was leaving the resort around 11 so I'm going to head into DTEC to get a phone case because I finally did it and got an iPhone. I've always had Samsung, then I had Google, and they did not have Google cases at DTEC, so finally I have an iPhone. So I stopped at the Starbucks right outside of World of Disney, and you can mobile order here. So I just did, even though there's literally no line. As I was walking up, I did it. Sitting behind the margarita stand because it's not open yet. Got myself my Starbucks. They wrote, have a good day. I'm just watching the river. So I just placed my order and I'm getting this one. How cute. Little simple blues and pinks are like the colors I wear the most to, so it's perfect. He said it would take about 30 minutes, so I'm just gonna hang out in the store because uh, I think I'll be done fast. And it was like $37, and with my annual pass, I got $7 off, so it was under $30. So it's a good good price for a phone case. Here is my phone case. I did get a specialty case as well. So the regular cases are $30. This one is like 3D. Uh, so it's $37, and then my $7 off. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous to use this case. I am a notorious phone dropper. Everything slips out of my hands. And this is a lot lighter than the case I have now. I thought it was OtterBox. So I thought those were good cases. Once again, I know nothing about iPhones. Uh, but my other case was much like thicker and heavier. So I'm a little hesitant. 
So, wish me luck. Family's arrived. They already headed over to the annual pass holder uh, ticket center <sighs> because we don't know what to do. Our annual passes expire uh, in like a week. But as of right now, we are not planning on coming back until February. But right now, you cannot buy annual pass holder passes, especially not Florida residents. We renewed during COVID. That's your only way of basically keeping them is renewing. Rumors are possibly starting in like December. Florida residents will be able to buy again, which doesn't make sense to me. Who, what do they care who buys? And they have more choices of passes and they're able to pay monthly and we have to shell out over $1,200 at one time. So we're going to talk to them to see if they have any insight. Who knows? Today's lunch is brought to you by Chef Art Smith's Homecoming. So we've been having issues with our annual passes to like buy things because the passes 2020-2021. Don't know why because we got new passes last summer. I don't know if it's because like they were trying to use up old ones from the pandemic. Uh, every time I try to buy something they're like, that's the wrong date and they don't believe me so then I have to show it in my, my app. Huh. And then they apologize, like, not a big deal, like, it's the wrong date. Uh, so Kristen went to the annual pass place and she got a new one, but we're literally only have five more days, so I just keep trying to add. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, Chris, 23rd. Kristen and Riley have more days than we do, even though we got it at the same time. That doesn't make sense either. And then they ask about renewing. We have 30 days after to decide, don't know what to do. Appetizer is the buffalo chicken. No. no, what is it? Cauliflower chicken. Yeah, with sauce. Cold wings, but they're oh. cauliflower. In my mind, just wings are buffalo. It's a hot honey sauce. All right. Mom and I got the Arts Famous Fried Chicken. It comes with mashed potatoes and a biscuit. Dad got three short ribs, uh, collard greens, but, uh, mashed potatoes and a biscuit. And the margarita with the to-go. Moonshine. Moonshine. It's good. Kristen okay. got the chicken sliders with the mac and cheese. Grab and tell them what you got. We took a midday break, little naps, and now we were heading to Magic Kingdom to then jump on a bus to the boardwalk because we want to enter the back of Epcot, but our monorails are down. So now we have to walk to Magic, which I'm fine with, but the fan was tired. Uh, don't know why it's down. He wouldn't tell us. So. Hmm. Hopefully it's back up for tonight when we want to come home. <laughs> Made it into Epcot. We went back World Showcase Way. Our monorail was down, so we had to take a bus. So we walked to Magic, took a bus. We took the first one, Yacht and Beach Club. Uh, took about an hour to get in. So it is 8 o'clock. We have our deluxe resort after hours from 9 to 11. We have to eat dinner. Let's see what we get done. Kristen stopped at our usual French booth to get the slush. Look at how tiny. 1545. I guess it's probably the same. Well, the other one looked bigger. Yeah. But the prices are just getting out of control. It does feel like there's a little bit more alcohol, but that could just be me. I don't know. No, they're usually the best ones. That's why I used to always get it. It is way more crowded than it was when we were here on Friday. It's like a madhouse, and it's a Monday. We tried to stop at the Japan booth, because it's like literally the one thing I eat in at Food and Wine. 10 minutes. Yeah, tried the teriyaki bun, which was 7.50, which I think is absolutely ridiculous to begin with. But it's the only thing I eat, so I was like, all right. Kristen tried to use her gift card, which has lots and lots and lots of money on it, and it wouldn't read, so he's like, okay, can't do anything. But like, that's our only form of payment, so we couldn't get food. <laughs> And she used it like five minutes prior getting the France drink. So, don't know what's happening. And it's a madhouse here right now. So we stopped at Regal Eagle since the one thing I eat, couldn't get, 
I just got a burger. It's on Texas toast and french fries. But Fireworks are over, everyone's leaving. We have our deluxe resort hours now. I must just not like Epcot fireworks. So I was like anti illuminations and this one wasn't any better. <laughs> they had better songs in this one. Like I love uh, Hercules, so it had a little Hercules. I love Hunchback, a little Hunchback, so I had good music, but like for that hideous monstrosity that is now in the lagoon, I don't think that stuff is worth it. I don't know. I just hate that it's like always in the water. If they were able to like take it in and out, like illuminations, I don't think I would hate it as much. But like I wouldn't like I would watch it as I'm walking through the country. I wouldn't stop to watch it because it's 20 minutes too. But I'm also not really a fireworks person to begin with. Wishes was still my favorite. And just because of the music. Wishes made yeah. Me cry every time. Yeah, me too. I got a little chills on the finale here. Yeah, got a little chill. I just hate the I hate the ugliness of it. First up for our deluxe late night for Rosen. Alright, time for test track. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? You are! Oh, Figman at late night. He is sleeping. But the France Beauty and the Beast sing along is still going until 11. Random. Uh, that's what's say, but no pigment. Which, like, pigment is like their mascot. <laughs> and they're like, nope. Closed. The bed was He's a little baby, you gotta go sleep. It is 1040, and the land is as empty as I've ever seen it. And just to get in here, we had to scan our vans. Kristen was able to bring the stroller all the way up, though. Normally, you have to park it down. So, able to bring it. And oh, no living with the land either. That is closed. The cucumbers have to rest and grow after a hard day of working. But heading on Soren. <sighs> that took pretty long naps. He would not. I went back to him earlier, so I napped before. Then he came in screaming and hollering and I don't know what, he must have been jumping on his bed, which was making my bed literally feel like he was jumping on top of me. So then I woke up, then Kristen tried to sleep. He was crawling on top of her. Did not want to sleep, so he didn't sleep. And it's almost 11 and he's still ready to go. I will say the contemporary beds, which I didn't realize this, dad pointed it out. The headboards are, are just one. So the other night, Caitlin like jumped into bed. Like she like tosses herself into her bed. And my bed like went like this and now like where we're from we don't have earthquakes but we had one last year and I was awake for it and it felt like that again like a roll and I was just like oh my goodness Orlando's having an earthquake and so I was like Caitlin did you feel that but she was half asleep and she was like no and I sat there for 15 minutes just googling like Florida earthquake earthquakes occurring in Orlando today yeah, it's just the beds are hard like Bradley literally felt like he was shaking my bed like, that's what I felt like Hello, welcome to Soren. My name is Patrick and I'll be your chief flight attendant today. We'll be getting boarding in a few minutes, but first I'd like to acquaint you with some important safety information. 
When the doors here fly open, please take a seat and store all carry-on items in the under-seat compartment. This includes cameras, purses, hats, and of course, these little dudes. We got our own row. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. It's gonna feel like a private flying. Exactly. There's nobody near us. Exactly in the back. Yeah. yeah. The but box. we are the center. Yep, the very center. Because we got our own row. No, that's the very center. Center of the movie. You want to be center of the movie. Officially park close. Mom and Dad had uh, went back to the room before us, and they got to take in transportation center. And then their monorail is not going back to the contemporary. So you can either take the monorail, go back to Magic, and then walk, or take a bus. So for some reason, we cannot get back to. Get use the monorail during our trip today, which is like the purpose you get stay at those hotels. And it is the deluxe late night, and at Epcot, we can't get home. Exactly 11 now, they turned off the lights before it was like 10 59. Now the lights are out. <laughs> We are on our second monorail. We have to take the Magic Kingdom monorail to get off and then walk to our resort. Mom and Dad tried the bus and when they got there, it was all jam-packed and only one bus for a Polynesian, Grand Floridian, and Contemporary. And Contemporary would have been the last stop. So, yeah. So, taking the 10 minute walk. They should have said at Epcot, they should have said, if you want to take the monorail back, you'll have to take the monorail, you know. Back. They, they didn't tell us anything they at Epcot. They didn't tell us anything at Epcot. Everybody just kind of figured it out and just kind of like, you know, traveled through the Epcot. That the bus, the monorail was still down. What they should have done was at Epcot said, we have a bus for the contemporary, a bus for the Polynesian, and a bus for the Grand Floridian. Because they have those open spaces there that they don't use. And that's what they should have done. Alleviate the Especially place. knowing it was a deluxe late night. Yeah. So all the people leaving Epcot were a deluxe hotel. So it was all everyone. So you were just causing a backup here that would make people unhappy. Especially and late at night. It's late. Everyone's it's tired. Getting people are not gonna be happy. <laughs> yeah. The whole thing is, is that you have to try to. Mitigate the situation before people get angry. And that to me would have been a quick, easy solution. Maybe they don't have, I don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Maybe they don't have the bus driving. That's my yeah. guess. Is they, just, they don't have the, the cab tempers. <laughs> Almost there. I'm tired. So we're even stopping at the resorts. We are at the Grand Floridian, but we can't get off at the hotels. On the resort line, like we can. We're on the side to exit. All they have to do is open the door. There has to be a reason. I don't know what it is, but. So it is 11:36, and this is the line for the monorail to the TTC, all the way over there. Oh, JK. It's oh no, that's the boat. We finally made it back to our room. It's about midnight. It was a process today, which was not a fun way to end the night. I'm tired, so it just makes it like worse. 
my guess is because we still went through the resort loop we basically stopped at Grand Floridian and the people at Magic Kingdom were getting on the resort monorail my guess is that the Magic Kingdom Express monorail was broken in some way and in order to keep that one going quicker to get all of the guests back to back into from Magic Kingdom to CTC was to give them our monorail and not let us stop that is my guess because we were going through the loop who knows tiring <sighs> and then yeah ah, time for bed so with that <laughs> I say good night everyone